What we're looking at today is the Flywoo Flylens 75 Express OLED Edition. And this is the kit only version without the VTX, which you will need to add your own video system later on. Since I'm still waiting for my VTX to arrive, for now, I'm just going to walk you through how to get the Flylens 75 bind to your Express OLED radio. And we're going to use the Radio Master Pocket as an example. But since the Flylens 85 also share the same hardware, with the 75, the binding process will be the same. So this tutorial is going to work for the Flylens 75 and the 85. All right, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so before we begin, there is a key element you need to know about Express Solar S. You need the same Express OLS firmware on your radio and your receiver. If they don't match, they won't bind. And there are only two major versions, 2.x or 3.x, so very simple. My radio is at 3.x and the fly lens was received at 2.x. So I will have to flash the Express OLS firmware version of the fly lens 75 to 3.x in order for it to bind with my radio. Okay, so we're done talking. Let's switch to the computer and we can begin the steps. All right, so originally I was going to demonstrate how to flash this using Wi-Fi. However, there's a problem with this particular receiver. I don't know if this is a flywheel thing or just I'm just being super lucky that I have the iffy iffy chip. So when I was trying to flash it via Wi-Fi, it does not have enough space internal space in the receiver so it basically prevent the flash and basically gives me this kind of arrow and i have to free up the space by loading the repartition re the bin file and then it break the entire receiver resulting i need to end up flashing using beta flight pass through so to avoid you with all the trouble, I will be demonstrating using the Betaflight pass-through this time. So you might not want to flash using Wi-Fi for this particular one. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who's having a problem with everybody. But anyway, let's just jump into the steps this time. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to make sure that you have ExpressLS configurator and you're going to bring your quad and at the same time plug in the quad with the USB cable. Actually, so this is the US micro USB cable. And after it's plugged in, make sure you don't open beta flight because if you open beta flight, this is not going to work. All right, so we're going to do the targets. The targets, you're going to select the Flywoo 2.4 gigahertz. And the device is going to be Flywoo EL24P24000RX. So this is the firmware that you're going to do that was advertised on Flywoo website. So. Make sure you use this one. All right, so the rest of the thing, you can leave it as default. I'm setting up my binding phrase as 654321. You can set up whatever you like as long as it matches your radio. My radio also has 654321 preloaded. So once I power up both, they should automatically bind. Okay, so once you have everything set up, now is the point that we have to go select the correct COM port. And at this case, it's going to be Microsoft the COM3 Microsoft. And if you're not sure, just unplug and plug in again, and you should be able to find it. And what we have to do right now is call, it's just to hit the build and flash button. All right, so simple as this, the flash has been complete. Make sure you select the correct target, otherwise the flash is not going to be successful. All right, so next we will be performing the setup in beta flight. So of course you're gonna open beta flight and plug in your quad again to activate the receiver and also beta flight function. Okay, so we're gonna leave it here. You're gonna first go to the ports tab, make sure that your UART1 is enabled because that's the that's where the receiver is uh, built from, built for. So make sure the serial number one is enabled. This is the one you want. And once you're done, you have hit save and reboot. Okay. And then let's go to the receiver tab. You want to make sure that your receiver is set up as serial via UART. And then select crossfire for Express OLS. And then once done, hit save. 
All right, so here are the settings. Next, we will be bringing out our radio. The fun part about ExpressLRS is as long as you have the same binding phrase on your radio and on your drone and your ELRS firmware version is the same, at both at 3.x or 2.x, then they should automatically bind a pound power. All right, so let's go give it a test. Let's go to the receiver tab. And we're just going to move our sticks to see if it's receiving anything. All right, so that's a good sign that at least our sticks is working. And the second part is I'm going to show you how to set up your modes. So you're going to have to find a way to arm it, otherwise it's not going to move. If you have a complete empty setup, it should look like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the arm switch and we're going to add range. And then I'm going to use this switch as my arm switch. Generally, this is going to be your aux one. If you have the radio light, uh, you have, if you have the pocket, this is going to be your aux one. So what you're going to do is right now set up auto, right? Just press it and it's going to assign to aux one. So let's pull the perimeter. When you activate it, the goal is to make sure the dot falls into the perimeter. Okay. So, okay, arm, disarm. Right, next let's add our modes. Modes, I'm gonna use the second button right here, which should be aux two. Same, let's add range to angle. Okay. Okay, so I want angle to be my default. This is a three-way switch. And let's add a horizon mode, same drill. Press the same button. Okay, so in the middle, I want horizon mode to be in the middle and then your acro mode is going to be here, which this is going to be default as acro. So on the top, bottom and middle. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are just going to hit save. And then your quad has been set up. Very simple. All right, we're back at the bench and same drill. We're just going to give it a quick test to see if the motor spins just for the fun of it. All right, plug in your LiPo as usual. And then you're just going to press your arm switch to see if it actually spins. All right. All right, so our motors are spinning, so this is a successful bind. All right, so if you have additional questions or just wanted to leave a comment, please leave a guy in the comment section, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.